Hello and welcome back to another episode of Fly Day Fridays, the day where we talk about things that fly, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Moontop MT9916. Upon first glance, this thing looks an awful lot like the SEMA X11, and that's not a terrible thing, but it does stand on its own. When you open the box up, you're going to find the manual, which has instructions in both Chinese and English. You're going to find a USB charging cable, a micro SD card reader with a 2 gigabyte card, 6 spare props, and a 200 mAh 3.7 volt battery. Then you have the controller, which has a little bit of an interesting style to it. It's a little wider and a little more shallow than a lot of the ones I've used that are this size, but it's very nice that it has these clearly labeled buttons for using the camera. It's got bumper buttons for changing the rates and a bumper button for flips and it's just very solid in the hand. Although it does take six AA batteries so keep that in mind. And then of course the bottom of the package you have the quadcopter itself. It comes with a prop guard included and on it but I've gone ahead and taken that off of mine. It has a button on the side and I'm not entirely sure what that button does. I would assume that it starts and stops the camera but I've primarily just been using the buttons on the controller to do that. And inside of mine there was another battery included, a 250 milliamp hour battery which I think is the one that's supposed to come with this. The 200 milliamp hour battery that came with it looked identical to the one that came with my SEMA X11 but they do work interchangeably so every battery I've got for the X11 will work with the moon top and vice versa. And as far as LEDs, it does have red LED lights on the front, green LEDs on the rear, and then red eyes which, again, looks almost identical to the way the SEMA does it. Now, as I mentioned, this did come with two batteries. I'm not sure if the one that you would get if you purchased it would come with two batteries, but mine did. The 200 milliamp hour battery I got about six minutes of flight time out of, and the 250 milliamp hour battery I got about seven and a half minutes of flight. And that's while using the camera the majority of the time. Because in case I forgot to mention it, this does have a camera on it. It's only 640 by 480 though, and obviously this isn't FPV or anything, so I haven't really been doing a whole lot with it in terms of video and photos. But anyway, in terms of how it flies. It has a really nice fast yaw rate to the left, but not so much to the right, which means when you're spinning to the left, you can make some really nice fast turns. You can do some excellent funnels to the left, but when you try to do it to the right, you really can't do funnels. And if you try to pirouette to the right, it's just significantly slower. And if you're outdoors in the wind, you're just gonna get blown away doing that. But again, that left yaw rate is just fine, makes for some really nice looking funnels. It also has some pretty decent pitch, so it can kind of fight the wind. It's not necessarily the best thing that I've ever had outside in the wind, but I took it out on a pretty windy day over to the park, and I was able to keep up with it. It's definitely a whole lot better once you take the prop guard off in terms of fighting the wind. So yeah, I would definitely take this out on a windy day. Now in terms of the range, I think it said somewhere that it's supposed to have a range of about 50 meters, but in my use, I've noticed it's about 30 meters. So after I hit about 30 meters, there starts to be a little bit of lag from the transmitter. Like I'll give it a command and then suddenly a second or two later it'll happen. And then once it gets a little bit beyond that, it just drops. Although on at least one occasion, I had it kind of low to the ground and I got it about 30 meters away and then it would just try to keep going, whatever the last command I gave it, which is actually something that happened to me with the X11 from SEMA. But at the very least, every time that it got too far away, it would just drop so it's not like it just completely took off and left. And you'd think with this transmitter taking six AA batteries that it would be able to go a little bit farther than 30 meters. Maybe again, maybe it's just my unit, maybe it's my transmitter, I don't know. Maybe I need to open this up and make some modifications to get that antenna to stick out a little bit more. Maybe it's the camera that's causing some interference. Really hard to tell. As far as how it flips, because everybody loves flips, it flips very, very nice. They're not extremely fast, they're not really twitchy or anything, but it's just sort of a nice flowing twist over. And when you've got it going straight forward and you say you do a backflip, it looks like it does a little bit of a loop. And the last thing to mention, as I said earlier, Earlier, the camera. It's 640 by 480. The video footage I got out of it was just not really usable for anything. You can see it here. It is being upscaled, so it's going to look even worse. But it was just really grainy and really blurry, and I would not recommend using it. But on a quadcopter this size, I normally wouldn't expect there to be a camera anyway, so it is just a nice option to have, I guess. But it's very low quality. It's in a fixed position, so you can't move the lens or anything. So I haven't really ended up using it. So all in all, I'm definitely a big fan of this. Put it up next to the SEMA X11, and they can definitely compete with each other pretty nicely. I think I've gotten better better yaw and better funnels out of the moon top than I have out of the SEMA, but they're both excellent little quadcopters. I'll have links to where you can find both of them down in the video description over on Gearbest. Again, I did forget to mention that earlier. Gearbest did send this out for me to review, so thank you very much to Gearbest for sending this. Thanks to you guys for watching this video. Remember to hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available, and I will see you again next time.